Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to the 100 Baby Challenge or the 100 Infant Challenge, whichever you prefer. Paris Sparks is just completing quests on her way to have 100 babies. So we're competing against an NPC family. They have 14 children and we have our 15th baby. So we do quests in this series and sometimes they earn us money and sometimes they lose us money and they may even kill our sim. Well, I also did it again. I unfortunately had a quest last time where we were supposed to purchase a rabbit home and I didn't actually buy the home. So we lost another 35,000 simoleons. We're down to 44,411 simoleons, which is still fine. What quest are we going to do today? And these quests could be difficult or easy. Build a tree house. We have a tree house. Okay, so that one's too easy because we already have a tree house. So I'm not going to allow that one. We're going to spin again. I think we have our tree house upgraded. Maybe we should say that we have to upgrade it. No, it's not upgraded. Well, what else are we going to do? Make a puffer fish group meal while in a bad mood using your current cooking skill. Everyone in the household must eat it if old enough and 10 times for every death. Okay, this one sounds a little bit more interesting, if not more dangerous. This one could be really bad. In fact, I'm not even sure how to get into a bad mood with Paris. She's always in a great mood, but she also has level 10 cooking. So maybe she's the safest option. Nina has level five cooking and Dix has level five cooking. All right, kids, which bed has the monster under it? I don't see the monster. Now, I know you're supposed to only see the monster with the kids, but I have the focus on the kid. Don't wake everyone up. Go see what's happening. Okay, Paris is good friends with XP, so that means XP can age up, even though we're going to have two infants again. Happy birthday, XP! All right, XP is going to be sunny. Oh, and XP is a werewolf. That's fun. Oh, it looks like Quinn found a ring in Trenton's bag. I think he's going to propose to me. I don't know what to do. Should I say yes, no, God? Well, say yes. Although I don't know who Trenton is. I don't remember if Quinn was involved with someone or not. I guess he was. Oh, look, the flea market is here, but that also means that I think they have the puffer fish. Maybe, maybe not. No, this is not the puffer fish one. Now it's the Japanese food stall that has it. None of these apparently are Japanese. I don't remember what it looks like, though, because it's hard for me to tell since the signs are in Simlish. That's obviously not it. This one is the curry one, which kind of makes sense. And that this one is the one I thought that might be it, but I guess, no, this is, yeah, this is not it either. Even though there's, there's fish there, there's no fish here. It's pho, bami, and goi, I can't say these. Anyway, I'd have to look it up how to say it. Um, yeah, maybe the, these two or one of these two is fish, but I don't know. Those are not familiar dishes to me. Although, judging from the sriracha, uh, now I know what that is. I love sriracha. Uh, so that must be Chinese, I suppose. I don't know if sriracha is Chinese. But anyway, this is not the Japanese place. Oh, this one might be it. Maybe, no. Egg rolls, tofu, sweet and sour pork, and eggplant. I guess that's Chinese. It has the Chinese fortune cookie. <laughs> I don't know what all these stalls look like. It's hard to tell. And no, none of these are the Japanese place. I know that's the fruit and vegetable stand. Oh, well. Okay. And Zoomers doesn't have it. I guess the only option is to buy a Japanese food stall. 
Oh, that one's Vietnamese. Yeah, I, I really have trouble determining the type of cuisine. I like the cuisine, but I can't remember which ones are which. Okay, and then we have to hire a vendor. Okay, now we can get the puffer fish. Now, eating it once won't be enough. I need to get someone to cook it who is in a bad mood. Of course, no one is any good with chopsticks. Oh, and Nina has to go to work. Of course she does. Oh, I need pufferfish and wasabi. I have no idea where to get those. Of course, I am on a simple living lot, so we need the ingredients. Oh, XV is going to stand in his crib. Or Ziv. This is Ziv, not XP. Okay, so Ziv has pulled the stand. Now we need Ziv to get pincer grass. Okay, there's a fish market at the night market, but I don't... Come on, Paris, use your werewolf run. Fine, I'll just tunnel there first. Okay, it doesn't have anything that I want. Wolf, eel, tuna, trout, tilapia, sturgeon, salmon, perch, koi, and bass. Of course not. Okay, well, since San Mishuno has everything frozen with snow, we're going to try and fish for it in Oasis Springs. I don't know if it's possible, but we can try. Oh, and it's Paris's birthday. Yeah, I think that Evie is going to be the last one because we don't have enough time to do all of these quests. And get Nina her lifestyle right now. Yeah, she still doesn't have the frequent traveler even under progress. So it looks like XV is going to be our next baby mama. And it rolls over to midnight. So we're going to stop fishing and go home. So we have to spin the losing wheel. And how much are we going to lose for not eating the pufferfish nigiri? I'm not sure if I really wanted to eat it anyway. And wow, only 9%, really? Well, 9% of 44,012 is only 3,961 for a total of 40,051 simoleons. Yeah, that definitely wasn't worth it. Because if someone dies, we have to redo them. In, except for be Paris. Paris is the only one allowed to die. Our next quest is... Again with the treehouse. No, we're removing that one. <laughs> no, we better not get puffer fish. Get gold on a family reunion. Well... We are supposed to have a family reunion when we pass the baton to the next one, but that's not for a while. All right, everyone's got to get some sleep. Oh, you need something to eat. Oh, Ziv got pincer grass. Good. Now we're going to attempt to make a cake. And the reason why I say attempt is because this might start a fire. Well, no fire this time. All right, Ziv. Blow out the candles. Happy birthday. If we can get a shot in here. Oh, and Ziv is going to be independent. We love to see an independent toddler. All right, so Baker has level five in all of the skills, except for Potty, of course, is level three. So it's time for Baker's birthday. Happy birthday, Baker. Okay, Baker is going to be proper. And then for the child aspiration, we actually have to complete this for my 100 baby challenge. And it looks like slumber party animal. So that is a multi-skill and we will be picking slumber party animal for Baker. Okay, and this kid aged up with no hair. All right, and then we have to earn a character trait. It might be a good trait or a bad trait. That was a close one. We're going to do uncontrolled emotions. And then we have rewards based on needs. 
and looks like heat acclimation. And then we have two more reward traits that we have to earn. And I pick these now so that I can start picking them out of Paranormal Investigator. Yeah, we're going to get a Paranormal Investigator license. That probably won't be until he's a teenager, though. And then we'll pick one more because that determines the other trait that he needs to get before he ages up. And it's Entrepreneurial. I'm entrepreneurial. Uh, I can't say that one. All right. And then either a job or an after school activity, which might need to be started as a child if it's drama club. But no, it looks like computer team member. And then what fear are we going to assign to Baker? And this cannot be removed. And if it does get removed, I have to add it back. Oh, a fear of swimming. That's an interesting one because there is actually a way to swim in the lakes here, but he will not be swimming. Okay, and we're going to roll for the gender options as a child just because of the clothing change. I can do that one early. And this one is a breastfeeding change. Okay, so basically since he's male, I will, I will change him to be able to breastfeed. This is The Sims. We can do all these weird things. So anyway, um, that won't affect him as a child, but it will as a teenager and older. And then we'll determine if he has glasses or a hearing aid or both. And looks like no. No glasses or hearing aid. Okay, I'm going to save the other roles for when he becomes a teenager, but right now we're going to pick some likes and dislikes, and I just hit this little dice button. So basically, I don't think he likes purple, so anything with purple in it I need to get rid of. He likes singer-songwriter music, he likes funny sims, he likes deep thoughts, and fitness. That's not pretty bad for likes and dislikes, and I don't think any of these are purple. That's really blue, so maybe I'll leave it that. So he has this hat twice. It's a little purplish, but it's also blue. So I think I'll let that pass. And yeah, most of his outfits are not purple. So those are just fine. I actually have set outfits for children, toddlers, infants, teenagers, and adults even. And the game just picks one of those preset outfits. So I don't have to completely make them over every time. Okay, Paris keeps getting hysterical, but I'm not sure that werewolves can die from emotional deaths. I know they can't die from anger because otherwise it would be really dangerous to be a werewolf. All right, so I just have to make sure that no one has any job that they need to go to, and we can have the family reunion now. Looks like no. All right, I can invite ghosts. Oh, I love that. I'm definitely inviting the ghosts. Okay, we need to take photos. Oh, and everyone's going to freeze to death. I forgot about that. It's cold, so hopefully they don't stay in their party wear. Okay, apparently taking selfies counts. All right, well, taking all the photos was all we needed to do. I think we should probably try to make everyone go home because they're stealing all of my stuff. Oh, Paris aged up. Okay, so she is now an elder, and this is definitely no more kids for this generation. Okay, we're here in Mount Kumarabi, actually, because Nina needs to be a frequent traveler. So I have to have her come here because this is the one place that I know that she can get it without going on vacation. And she needs to do things like skiing, rock climbing, hiking, and things like that. Her lifestyle is not even in progress, though. So I think we'll probably need to focus on this one. Maybe I should have her graduate early. I know that I said I wasn't going to do that, but that's only because I wanted prom to work. Now that prom has worked once... And I don't think I'll need any of the others to go to prom. I don't think I'll worry about it. So we get to spin the winning wheel for getting gold on a family reunion. That was not too difficult.
and we get 30%. Now, 30% of 36,800 is 11,040 for a total of 47,833. Now let's spin for the next quest we're going to do for Tuesday. Hopefully it's not related to the tree house. Okay, stock a pond with at least 10 different types of fish. Well, this is good because actually we went fishing recently when we were looking for a puffer fish. So hopefully we have at least 10 different fish that we can stock a pond with. And there we have it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Okay, so we got 12 different types of fish. And here's our little pond. I took away the tent because everyone has a bed inside now and we're going to have fishing out here at this pond and I went ahead and had Nina graduate early so we might have Dix graduate early as well um Paris was one step off of the lot and midnight hit and I guess gremlins Oh, that stinks. I always forget about that because I never really need to worry about it. Well, I guess we did finish the quest for today because we were able to add all of those fish to the pond. Even though this is kind of annoying to have to fix everything. So we get to spin the winning wheel. And how much are we going to get today? Oh, looks like... About 68%? Yeah, 68%. And 68% of 42,201 is 28,697. For a total of 70,898. Now we spin the quest wheel for Wednesday. What quest are we going to do today? Make a furniture object through the woodworking table. Well, that's not too hard. Okay, Nina has comforted others. So she finished one step of the Zen Guru aspiration, so she doesn't have to do anything more for aspiration. All right, let's see if we can get everyone over here to open presents. This usually doesn't work. Okay, Paris is opening a gift first. And she got the wolf eel, which was the prank. And then Nina got a magic tea kettle and then got a classic wood mobile doza got a servos steel what is that oh it's a marble what paris found a schmapple oven in the dumpster i didn't even tell her to go dumpster diving she just decided to do it well as nice as that oven is if you were to fix it up I don't think it would match our set. I'm just going to forget about it. We can't sell it though. Well, we made a bar stool, so we get to spin the winning wheel for making a furniture on the woodworking table. And we get 95%. That's a really high percentage. And 95% of 63,326 is 60,160. For a total of 123,486. Now, what quest are we going to do for Thursday? Play at the park and catch three frogs, with at least one of them being rare. Well, it's a good thing that Nina and Dix are graduated from high school. So we have to make sure that everybody is rested. And then when the kids go to school tomorrow, we'll work on the frogs at the park. Okay, finding frogs is really easy. So we already have three. However, we have no rare frogs. Okay, it's after midnight and we did not find any rare frogs. All of them are common or uncommon. We got a lot of them. So we have to spin the losing wheel. And how much are we going to lose? Uh, it's a big percentage, but not too much. 66%. And 66% of 123,685 
is 81,632 for a total of 42,053. Now, what will we be doing on Friday? What is the next quest? Randomize to a new aspiration and complete an aspirational milestone. Okay, that shouldn't be too difficult as long as it isn't something like becoming a vampire. Okay, and here is a list of all of the aspirations. So what is the random aspiration we're going to try? Oh, that would be perfect. Master Mixologist. So Paris actually likes mixology for some reason. And so since she's already finished with her werewolf aspiration, the next one is to mix 10 drinks, own a bar, or own two bar stools, which we already have. So that's easy. Okay, we need to get Nina her frequent traveler lifestyle. So we're going to take a vacation. Okay, and it's a wonderful time of the year to take a vacation. Well, anyway, we went to Granite Falls. And this is the vacation lodge that we have actually been to before in the series. And here is the top level where Paris will be staying. And we have a toddler bed and an infant crib and another toddler bed because just in case Evie ages up. And then we have the middle floor where everyone else will be staying. We'll assign everyone beds here. And this is the bottom floor where there's all the activities. And we actually have some nectar stuff in the basement, but we won't be using that. We just need the bar upstairs because Paris needs to make some drinks. And then maybe we could send Nina out to do something because she needs to basically get the frequent traveler lifestyle. And it you not only need to go on vacation, you also need to do things when you travel. So every day we're going to be going somewhere different and traveling and doing activities where we travel. And hopefully we'll get her some new skills. Maybe that'll help. And I think we could actually bring our chickens and our cow on vacation. So we can assign Clara to this shed and that should work. And then we should be able to assign these chickens to this chicken coop and also, and also put our hatchable eggs there. The only downside to going on vacation is that every time I do this, I have to take all of my stuff out of my refrigerator and put it in the new place because otherwise we won't have it. Okay, before I forget, I have to make some drinks. Okay, and we completed that step of the mixologist aspiration. Well, frequent traveling also involves visiting hidden lots. So maybe we should go to the national park and visit the hermit. Okay, it always takes me forever to find this hermit cave. So basically here's the little lodge house and here's the river. So the river has two ends. There's a lake on the right and a lake over here. So I would say that's right and left if you have the river at the bottom of your screen and then you have the little museum closer to the one on the right. So then if you go out the door to the museum there is the bathrooms over here and there's where you spawn in so it's right behind you when you spawn in there is a path so you have to have your camera oriented like this so here's the bathrooms and then the spawn in point and follow this path back and you sometimes have to go back and forth because it will hide behind this tree like that and you won't see it. So if you follow that path around though, you can usually find the bramble wood that leads, leads to the hermits. And I had to do that two or three times before I could even find it to explain it. So that is how difficult this is to find sometimes. Oh, Evie learned how to sit up all by herself. It seems there were some hamburgers left here from the last time I was here. I don't remember the last time we came here. 
Okay, we get to spin the winning wheel for completing the first step of the mixologist aspiration. And we're going to earn 26%. 26% of 36,732 is 9,550 simoleons for a total of 46,282 simoleons. Now for the next quest, this is actually the last day of the week. So what are we going to be doing today? Free instant celestial crown from Simazon and use three crystals in it. Okay, well, we have to buy the crown, but we do need to find three crystals. That should not be so hard. All right, I think we're going to go ahead and end our vacation. But before we do that, we have to go back to the hotel and get all of our stuff. Okay, we traveled to the Forgotten Grotto because I wanted to find some gems. And we're very uncomfortable, so we probably won't be able to search for any now. Well, here we are in Willow Creek, because we're going to go to the Sylvan Glade. First you view it, then you water it, and then something else, talk to it or something. Okay, so it turns green. Yeah, and then you can discuss nature. Okay, and then a door appears. Okay, first we follow the sound. Then we travel downstream. Oh, come on. She got too uncomfortable. <laughs> okay. She came out because she was uncomfortable for some reason. All right, fine. I guess we have to go to sleep. What if we have some hot coffee? All right, that seems to have helped a little bit. And then we enter the mist. Nina has a problem with feeling uncomfortable because unfortunately she has this fear of disappointing parents and it always gives her this uncomfortable buff. Okay, well actually go fishing just for a little bit. Hopefully this counts as an activity here. I think that you also need to do activities as well as go to hidden lots and destination spots. So some of the vacations may not count I'm hoping that the one that we took to Granite Falls counts. And we're going to go to Selva Dorada today. But it's still not unlocking anything. Okay, we caught a fish. Well, here we are in Selva Dorada. And this is a villa I got off of the gallery by Lou CVZ. Now, I did make some changes. So this room over here just had a double bed in it. I put five bunk beds or five beds that are two of them bunk beds and one of them is a single and then paris's room is over here i added the crib and the toddler bed plus i like the selva dorada beds for some reason they had a cheap futon in here so i swapped that out and then we also took all of our pets with us so the horse is pretty easy because they're part of your household but the cows and the chickens, what you have to do is put them in your inventory and then go to a place that has an animal shed and assign the cow to this animal shed. And you have to be careful that you actually put the cow back in your inventory before you leave. So you can't let the vacation end unless you've already done that. And the same goes for the chickens. Hey, what are you doing? Go away, ring ding ding. You are not getting my chickens today. Yeah, unfortunately, there's no fence in this area. Okay, we used up one of our crystals for Nina, which basically filled up all of her needs. And then for some reason, the, when the crystal wore off, her needs went back down to what they would have been before. That's interesting. And then we also made one for Paris and Dix. So everyone basically got a crystal crown. At least all of the teenagers in Paris. So that is three crystals worn and three different crystal crowns. Well, we'll go ahead and spin the winning wheel since this is the last day of the week. And we just have New Year's Eve TV to watch. And we get 85%. That's a big one. 
and 85% of 44,504 is 37,828 for a total of 82,333. Now we're just watching TV here, waiting for the New Year's to roll around. But we still have not made any progress on Nina's lifestyle. So I think what we'll have to do next time is take a vacation to Mount Kumarabi and stay in Mount Kumarabi until she gets this lifestyle. Because she's the next one that needs to age out. And that's all that she needs. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.